Hey guys, so I am in the lovely town of Batley. Always love my time here. Love the architecture, love the cobbled streets. Most importantly, I love the food. I'm gonna check out a new place. I think you can just see it behind me there called Distro Diner. I don't know too much about it, but the pictures look good. So let's go inside, let's check it out together. Let's look at the menu and hopefully uncover some good food. Let's go. Got a good amount of seating by the looks of it, which is always nice for me. It makes it easier to review. It looks quiet as well, which is lovely. But uh, well, let's do this. Okay, guys, so I've come inside. I've had a quick look around. First impressions are good. I like this setup in here. It's quite classy, it's quite clean. I've had a quick look at the menu too. It's actually larger than I thought it was, but I think, like with a lot of my other reviews, I'm gonna try and hit everything or at least one thing from every section and I'm gonna try and pick the best. So if you come in here and you fancy, for example, a sandwich, you know what to get. If you fancy a burger, you know what to get. So I think that's what we're gonna do. Have to say for a small town, Batley has an epic food scene. I've had so many good experiences here apart from GDK, that was not good. Apart from that, Batley has got some great food and I hope this place can live up to kind of the level of the other places. Okay, so this is the first wave. I was gonna wait, but I'm too excited, right? So this is the stacked burger. So you've got three patties there, some cheese, that looks good, with some crinkle cut fries. Then we've got the regular fries with their Philly cheese steak, but this guy's actually in like a ciabatta. Uh, looks like some peppers going on there, so that looks interesting. And then check this out, guys, right? I had a little sneak peek of this earlier. This is the Manhattan pizza. Look at the size of it. It looks cheesy, it looks delicious. Yeah, I was gonna wait for the rest of the food to come, but this just looks too good, right? This looks too good, so I just, I wanted to show it to you. I'm gonna try it now, and I'll wait for the rest to come as well. And if I ever see a mocktail, I always get them. It's a little bit different rather than just like a Coke, you know? So we're gonna start with this distro stack. So like I said, you've got three patties there, some cheese up in there. But look at the menu, we've got some tomato, oof. <laughs> we've got some lettuce in there as well, gherkins and relish. Ooh. Oh, I was gonna say they took the tomato out for me, but they didn't. Um, to be fair, yeah. I've done, I think, 200 reviews, and I forget to say no tomato every time. I'm so focused on the review, I forget about that. Let's give this a go. I love the cheese in that. The onions add some acidity. That's pretty darn juicy there as well. I quite enjoy that, I quite enjoy that. Juicy, flavorful. It's on like a nice brioche as well. Quite a compact burger, but really good sort of meat to bread ratio with a side of curly fries. Let me do that again. With a side of crinkle cut fries. You know what this reminds me of, guys? It kind of reminds me of a Big Mac without the middle bread, but just nicer than that. It just has that kind of feel for me. It just has a kind of Big Mac-y feel, but like a, like a nicer version. I'm gonna move on, guys. We're gonna move on to this because this is a little bit different. So this is actually Philly cheese steak, but with a ciabatta. I think that's a little bit different. So I guess it's like their kind of take on a Philly cheese steak. For example, here they have peppers in as well as onions. A normal Philly cheese steak, you wouldn't have peppers, but more veg, the better. It's good for you. Let's give this a go. There's a decent amount of meat in there, guys. Add a bit of chili sauce to that, take it to the next level. That's a decent Philly cheese steak. Though it's kind of their interpretation, so I don't necessarily want to call it that. It's their take. I quite like that, this steak baguette with cheese, onions, and peppers. That's tasty. Okay, so we're looking forward to this pizza. Let's try that. It just looks beautiful. Like, does this not just look beautiful to you guys? I mean, look at the size of it. I like that it's square. This is the Manhattan pizza. If I can just show you a little bit closer there, guys. So it's got piri piri chicken, it's got some onions, some peppers, and a rich tomato sauce. I'm gonna go for the edge one, because I like crust, it's like more crust, so thank you, bro. Why not? Look at that cheese pull. Look at that cheese pull. That cheese pull. That cheese pull. Let's give this a go. Hot, piping, piping hot. Oh. Ooh. First thing I get is actually that rich, tangy, full of flavor tomato sauce. The base is like electric, really tangy. I absolutely love that sauce. It's got spiciness to it. I don't think that's just the peri. I think it's actually the sauce got a kick to it, tanginess, vibrancy. As soon as I put it in my mouth, honestly, I could taste that sauce and I was like, I was in love with it straight away. This guy, you need to get this. This pizza is getting a hey man, fully deserved. 
Cruzy, cruzy, cruzy dessert. If you're coming here, make sure you get this pizza. A ton of flavor, lots of toppings, really good coverage. Also a ton of cheese. And what I do, like I said, I love the sauce. Some places the pizza's a bit dry. They kind of skimp out on the sauce, not this place. They give you a really good amount of sauce, really good amount of cheese, good topping. Just all around, you need to try that pizza if you're coming here. Right, we've got a couple of other things. Like for example, this is the most wanted burger so we're definitely going to try that but i'm going to have a sneaky little try of this cocktail first and i never know how to do these they have like these holes someone needs to teach me how to do these i never i never know man honestly i always end up just doing that is that right is that oh, i don't know i love the trend now that more places are doing fancy drinks they're taking a bit of care and effort rather than just like a coke vanta pepsi those drinks are fine i don't drink coke i drink alternatives to coke um We'll drunk them for a while but i like when places take a bit of extra care in the drinks department because the food is obviously the most important thing for sure but a nice drink with your meal just adds to it complements it helps the meal improves the experience so they do actually halloumi on the side and this is something that i always get in places like nando's i didn't think i'd get five big old pieces but uh i'm not going to complain about that definitely not and this is the most wanted burger here as well Oh, and my wings have just come out too. Hopefully these pack some flavor, some spice. You can have them without the, their own sauce. The, you can have them so they're not dip, just the breading, but I wanted to try that. I thought, why not? Most wanted. So this is their chicken fillet battered, dipped in some sauce, and they've got some cheese and some Cheetos there. I like crisps and Cheetos in a burger. I like the added crunch, providing it doesn't get soggy. The Cheetos always add something for me. This packs a good amount of heat, guys. A good amount of heat. What I would do is probably have a bit of garlic mayo in there just to balance that out because it is spicy, but in a good way. The billet itself is tasty. I love the Cheetos and the cheese in there too. Different to what you'd get in like Manchester for their spicy chicken burgers. This is more of like a buffalo sauce, I would say. Kind of tastes like a buffalo sauce. And I like it. It's good. I'm hoping this sauce is what the wings are dipped in because I think that would be really good. Right, let's try these wings. They kind of look atomic. They look super spicy. I love the deep red color on them. Good portion size. There's three or six there as well. And they're dipped in their homemade sauce, their house sauce. Let's try. They definitely pack a punch. So if you're not a spice fan, you don't think you're gonna like them. However, you can have them without the spice. I love spicy wings dipped in a sauce. I am all over that. So for me, these are right up my street. I would definitely get a portion of them for sure. Spicy. I've just had an idea, right? Get the halloumi, of which you get quite a lot. Put this into the burgers and that would just be 10-10. That's Put these in the burgers. You get the halloumi, pop it in here, and that guy's epic combination. So I don't think a meal is actually complete until you have dessert. So often dessert's crisp for me, but uh, this time I've got a waffle. It's a create your own. So I've got vanilla, I've got some Belgian chocolate, white chocolate, and white chocolate shavings as well. I've had quite a lot of spicy food. So I think something a bit mellow, a bit chill, some chocolatey and sweet, I think will go well. And uh, a warm waffle with cold ice cream. Come on, warm and cold, that's such a good combination for dessert. We're gonna get a little bit of everything. So, got some chocolate there, chocolate shavings, waffle, and some of the vanilla ice cream. Let's do this. That just hit my soul in an amazing way. I love the chocolate sauce on that, it's delicious. Really good, nice gelato too. That's got a really sort of premium feel to it. It's got a bit of elasticity going on up in there. But uh, the sauce is really, really good. The chocolate, the Belgian chocolate sauce. And the waffle itself is cooked well, crispy as it should be. I thought I was full until now. I'm not full. I'll show you up. Guys, so that was Distro Diner. Another really good spot I've covered in Batley. Or technically, I think it's, uh, I actually got off at Batley. I got an Uber here. So technically it's not, but it's gonna go in the Batley playlist because it's close enough. I do think if I was in a nearby town, I would travel here specifically for that pizza for sure. I like the cocktail. Uh, I really enjoyed the waffle. There's a few bits and I really, really liked here. So I definitely would travel to try the food. 
do check it out let me know what you think if you guys want to see some more content there's a playlist right here for you to watch and there's a video here of something you haven't seen before do all that cool stuff that youtubers always ask you to do like comment share do all that fun stuff but i'll see you all in that next video bye 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 bye